IBM Tivoli Storage Manager for Virtual Environments, version 6.4, New Functions. I am right now in vCenter, basically the VMware vSphere client, and the graphical user interface of TSM for Virtual Environments is implemented as a plugin GUI. So I can start it right from here, and my current state is right after the initial installation. So TSM for virtual environments has not been configured yet. The new configuration wizard will sense that and it will automatically present me with a launch tab where I can launch the configuration wizard right from here and go through the initial configuration. It is implemented as a wizard so it will explain which steps it take and I can choose to select defaults or I can also put in my own values. So I simply click next here and I am presented with a Tivoli Storage Manager server address also with a port and with the Tivoli Storage Manager admin user ID which is being used to configure the nodes and also the data mover nodes. So I can change that here to my TSM server address and I will have to specify a password here to log in into the TSM server. Simply click Next and the password has been validated towards the TSM server and I can now choose which policy domain and policy set and finally management class I would like to use. I will go with the standard here so I will accept the defaults. And the next step allows me to configure the Tivoli Storage Manager vCenter node name. I simply go with the recommendation and specify a password and I do the same thing for the VMCLI node name. Now I can select the managed data centers. Those are the managed data centers within vSphere. And that was almost it. Finally, I can define passwords for the Tivoli Storage Manager data mover nodes. So I can choose the data mover node and specify a password. do the same thing for the actual data mover. The actual data mover are stored on, could be stored on various machines and they could run in parallel and perform parallel backups of a VMware environment. In my case I only have one data mover and now I am presented with a summary and by clicking finish I will just accept the settings here and the configuration wizard will work and perform all the configurations for me. In this case everything was successful so my product is configured now and I can work right from here and schedule my first backup. I could also run through the configuration wizard again and change my existing configuration or I could also directly edit my configuration from here. Let's proceed with scheduling our first backup. I can simply do this by clicking the backup tab and it shows me that a uh, number of backups is already defined and I can schedule a new backup here can again choose the wizard function. Let's say this is a monthly backup. I can also schedule it right from here and can click next and 
This is another new function that we have now in TSM for virtual environments. And you can see it right here. Um, I have a clustered vSphere environment. And with version 6.4, we can actually schedule a backup per cluster. So I can select the cluster here. That is a new function in version 6.4 and I can basically tell TSM for VE to back up all the virtual machines within that cluster regardless on which ESX server they set. I can also um, include or exclude individual uh, virtual machines so I could basically select um, whichever machines I want to include in that backup and I can choose the data mover. If I would have multiple data movers, I could choose multiple data movers. I could schedule the backup for later. Or I could run it now. I want to run it now. And you do get a hint of another new function, which we will discuss later on in more detail, which is the incremental forever capability. I'll choose that one now, and I click Next. I am presented with the summary. Keep in mind that I did choose to back up the cluster in this configuration. I simply click on finish and I can now monitor this backup task right from here. And we can see that during this cluster backup uh, new virtual machines are being created and snapshots are also being performed and the backup will then uh, take place. Once the backup has taken place, the snapshots are being removed. And we can refresh the monitor here. And we can see a success message here. You can also scroll down and get some more information about this particular backup. Please note that this was a cluster backup. So the new function of TSM for virtual environments is to support selection by cluster. We also support selection by wildcards. I will now switch over to the TSM command line. The TSM command line also allows us to issue and schedule backup commands for uh, virtual machines. A backup command I want to use now is for a particular virtual machine within my vSphere environment. And I know that this virtual machine starts with WIN and I will now use a wildcard, a star, and that is also a new function of version 6.4. We do support wildcards now. So the backup of my virtual machine has started. So the name of the virtual machine is winxp underscore nfs and my data mover is now backing up this particular virtual machine. We get some information about this virtual machine and this is our initial backup. It is a full virtual machine backup since it's the first time that I will back up this uh, virtual machine here. And we will see how big it is and how long the backup takes. So the backup has almost finished. We can see here that 1.66 gigabyte are being transferred. 
and in the summary we can actually see it was approximately 1.7 gigabyte and we can also see that the backup has finished successfully. Starting the same backup again, backup VM, WinStar. This time I will explicitly state the incremental forever option. The virtual machine is being found. Snapshot is being created. So we get a consistent state of this virtual machine. And the capacity is being determined. It's again 1.7 gigabyte. Only in this case, you can see that 1.7 gigabyte were being inspected, but transferred were really only 32.54 uh, kilobyte. So basically, TSM for virtual environments has figured out that this virtual machine has not changed. So it has only backed up the incremental changes since the last full backup. Now let's run the same command again. This is now for the third time. Please note that I keep two versions of that backup inside of TSM. So my retention policy inside of TSM is set to keep two versions. And this is now my third backup. And yet again, zero data are being sent. So in other words, we have two versions, but we did not have to take a full backup. And we can do this again, create another backup, it's number four, and we can do this basically forever. We will never ever have to take a full backup again. TSM for virtual environments, version 6.4, does support incremental forever or a progressive incremental backup. The backup of this virtual machine included two volumes or two drives. What I want to show now is how with TSM version 6.4 we can restore only one individual volume from the last backup. So we have a new command here which allows us to specify the name of the volume which we want to restore. So I'm specifying the name of the virtual machine. Then I'm specifying the name of the VMDK file hard disk 2 in my case and this is what will kick off a restore of one individual volume which was part of a previous backup operation. This is also a function that has been introduced with TSM for virtual environments version 6.4. So we can see here that in this particular case, only one volume is being restored. And it is in this case, our hard disk 2. Hard disk 2 is not as big as hard disk 1, it's about 100 megabyte. So the restore just happened right now. And as you've seen, you can back up a virtual machine as a whole, but restore an individual volume from that full VM level backup. 
You can also leverage our recovery agent and restore individual files from that exact same backup. Now I would like to draw your attention to the last big function that we have introduced in TSM for virtual environments version 6.4. And this new function con concerns application and database support for applications and databases running in guest, meaning running within the virtual machines. Let's have a look on the dsm.opt file which we are using here. You see two lines in here. One is application protection type and the other one is applications protected. Those two parameters are the only two parameters that you have to set to enable application and database support. So you set these options in the dsm.opt file and TSM for virtual environments will automatically issue a VSS quiet command before the snapshot, the VMware snapshot takes place and it will then also issue a VSS resume after the snapshot has been finished. So basically we are keeping applications and databases consistently while the snapshot backup is going on. This only gives you consistency to the point in time when the snapshot has been taken. So your recovery granularity does not include log or roll forward capabilities but it does give you a point in time recovery um, objective of when the last backup has occurred. This function is supported for Windows guests for Windows virtual machines since we are leveraging Microsoft's VSS capability to do that and it also requires that the VMware tools are running inside the virtual machine. Thank you very much for your attention.